What's my mother name? What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up guys, KW175 back with another Pokemon Duel video and this is another pro tips and tricks video for you guys and you definitely want to check this out whether you're a brand new player or you've been around playing for quite a while. We're going to be talking about your support ID, your uh, transfer ID, setting up a password so you never lose your account. Also, how to get the most free rewards. So, first, setting up a duel uh, transfer ID. You hit the menu button down in the bottom right now. I zoomed in so you guys can't see my support ID because you never want to let anybody see your support ID, especially online. But it's going to be right above where you see help at the top of the screen there. There's going to be this long series of numbers. You want to write that down. Take a screenshot, email it to yourself, but also write it down on a physical piece of paper and keep it in like a you know folder filing cabinet something so you have it in the physical world so you can guarantee that it's not going to be lost due to like data corruption or a broken phone you know taking a screenshot is not enough but then you would hit transfer so then you have about data transfer i'm not going to sit here and read through the entire list but i recommend you definitely go through and read this very carefully but basically what it's saying is you're going to be able to set up a transfer id so you can transfer your data from one device to another because unlike most mobile games you can only play this on one device at a time you can't have this on your ipad and your phone so the way you set it up is transfer to another device transfer to this device that would be the button that you hit if you're recovering an account but you need to set it up so you're able to recover it. And you're not transferring it or anything, it's just gonna bring you to this page, set transfer password, and then confirm. So make sure it's a password that you're never going to forget. Also write it down if you have to with your support ID. Um, also, if you recover your account, you're gonna have to come in and do this again. So say you get a new phone, you wanna transfer it to a new phone, you know, You've already set this up. It's going to generate a transfer ID, which you're also going to need to write down. So your support ID and transfer ID are two separate things. The support ID is going to be shown on the main menu page when you launch the app. Also, when you go into the uh, menu, uh, like I showed you above help, that's going to be your support ID. You need that. Then by hitting transfer to another device, setting up a new password, they're going to generate a transfer ID, which you also need. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If you need to rewatch it a couple of times to get it, again, read the about data transfer, but then you'll have it set up. Then on your new device, you'll be able to transfer to this device, enter in your password and transfer ID, and you'll be able to recover it. Then immediately set up another transfer uh, ID, which you would go by transfer to another device again. You'll create a, a new password and it'll generate a new transfer ID. It's only good for one time, so you definitely need that or you're not going to be able to recover your account. Again, the support ID is going to be just above where it says help there. So write that down. Go to transfer, transfer to another device, set up your password. It'll generate a transfer ID. Write that down and then you'll have it. So then if you ever need to recover the account, um, you'll just download the app on your new device, go in there, and so on. And also, make sure that you know your nickname. See, mine's KW175. If you change your name a lot, like, I don't know, like, I've heard people say that they need to know their in-game name. So, make sure that you all always know your in-game name. So, we're in here in the room matches. We're going to be talking about how to get the most free rewards, figures, resources, things that you need. Um, but just as of for the main room match, you can create public or private rooms. Private are, are going to be locked. See, two of those are unlocked. This one is locked, so you have to have a passcode. So when you create the room, you're going to be able to create a passcode, give it to your friend so you can play. You can also set the rules, the time, how you want the match to go, and then you can select your deck, which you have already edited and set up in decks. Uh, which, you know, we'll talk about that building decks in another video. But um, these halls, you also want to keep an eye on. You'll get a notification. They do these randomly. Uh, the Orbiter Hall, this is going to be for gyms so you can practice your decks. But they're going to give you free rewards. Usually it's like 
five Carmenite for your first three wins, so you get like 15 Carmenite. Sometimes it's a rare metal rare cube. Um, sometimes there's a lot of rewards. You can get up to like 300 points. You can get like 100 Carmenite, a bunch of gold, uh, sometimes booster tickets. Uh, so you always want to make sure you're playing those halls. Anytime they give away free rewards, you want to make sure you're able to get them. But we want to take a look also at quests. They're both in that tab in the top left. So, if you're new to the game and you haven't done any of this yet, or if you've been playing for a long time, they revamped these training centers here, this training center. There's new rewards. So, first thing you want to do is come to your training center, and you want to complete everything. There's free gems, there's like Gyarados and Magikarp. You know, that was definitely the best gym exclusive figure, one of the best figures in the game for a long time, uh, and it's still pretty good in my opinion. I think with Altaria and like a, you know, sharp beak plate, maybe a wing sphere, um, you know, it's a pretty good figure. But see, these are objectives. So you don't have to do them all in one match. You can play it multiple times. It doesn't cost any energy. So you have 110 energy at the top. Sometimes energy, you need to use that for hotels. But each one of these stars are going to be one gem. You know, those add up, guys. Like gems, those, you know, any chance that the game gives you to get free gems, you don't want to miss it. So sometimes like, you know, 20 turns, you got to win in 20 turns. You may want to try to do that, you know, first, because it's going to be tough to do that and like get the uh, objective where you don't initiate any battles. So anytime you have to like win within 20 turns, I think you have to do it in 19. If it's the 20th turn, I don't think it gives it to you, but uh, nonetheless, you can do that one, complete that, get your gem, and then go back in and then do the other objectives, you know. Uh, sometimes you have to just like cover your own goal, use X attack, use double chance. So if you don't have those plates, you may have to come back and do those. But um, as you progress through the hotels and the training, you're going to get the things that you need to complete everything. Uh, so you get gems, you get figures, you know, Magikarp, there's Ghastly, that's a rare. You get a double chance, very, very useful. Um, you know, you get gold, you get metal, and then um, you're going to get a UX gold, UX metal, which is huge. I mean, those are really, really valuable. And then you're going to get Gyarados. So especially if you're starting out Magikarp and Gyarados, those, that's going to be a really nice set for you. And Magikarp automatically evolves, you know, if you guys didn't know that. If it gets knocked out, you automatically evolve into Gyarados. So it's just a, a great figure that has kind of an extra life. So the first hotel here costs five energy. You're going to see two out of two on the chest. And then there's three stars as well. Each one of these stars are going to be worth one gem. So you definitely want to make sure you're completing these guys because they add up. There's quite a few hotels. And then there's also the rewards that you get. Now you're going to be seeing these as question marks most likely if you haven't completed them or pulled them. But once you pull them, then you're going to be able to see what's in there. And I'm also going to link a web page down in the description be sure to check the description in the video and it'll show you all the reward drops from the hotels so if there's a particular figure that you want to uh, farm if there's a plate that you need anything that you want to find throughout all these hotels it'll tell you which hotel in which uh, stage or level so see look you get gems for completing it's kind of like the the mid boss like each floor kind of has a, a boss and then the top of the tower there's the main boss so the Chata de rosa i think is how you say it this is probably the best hotel to farm now it costs one extra energy instead of five it costs six but some of the best rewards are in here for example golem and Weed weedle you get cacnea cacnea is probably going to be one of the best commons and if you don't have a lot of figures you can sit here and grind this figure out and believe me i did it i have two cacneas that are chain level 10 okay and you have to have like 30 of them to get one chain level so that's 300 cacnea but um it's kind of like a 50 50 you're either going to get coins or you're going to get cacnea after you complete it you'll uh, get a chance to spin a wheel and it's going to be random so you know you have 110 energy so you're going to be able to use that energy um and just don't waste it right you know you have the energy come in grind get what you need now this is the volcano okay don roger the shady guy that he is he's holding the double chance plate which is a really good plate um you'll see a lot of decks people will carry at least one double chance 
Uh, usually two. Uh, some decks even have three double chance. So this is a rare plate. It costs 72 gems in the shop. So do not buy that plate, you know? Like, put it in the work, get to Don Roger, and then you're gonna be able to farm this, okay? It's the smallest wheel slice, so you may have to play it a few times. It costs 20 energy, so, you know, it may take you a little while to get the extra plates, but um, definitely grind the volcano for that. These hotels are locked. Don't bother trying to figure out how to unlock them. They've been locked for a year. We've been waiting forever to try to get the uh, hotels unlocked, and uh, it doesn't seem that, you know, they're, they're ready to do it just yet. So this is the final boss for what's unlocked and available, number seven. And, um, you know, really nothing special. He gives you a scoop up plate, which is pretty nice, and a magnemite. But you can get magnemite uh, for cheaper. You can get the magnemite from that skinny blue one right there next to the uh, pink one. But, um, yeah, that's mainly what to take away from the hotels. Get all the gems by completing all the objectives. And then, again, I'll link that, uh, that, that web page down in the description so you know where all the reward drops are at. So you know which hotel and which stage has what. And the storyline's pretty good, guys. It really is. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, I feel like there was something else that I wanted to cover here. Um, oh, let's just say that you're light on the rare metal for experience. That's, that's what I wanted to bring up. Me, I never had a problem with coins. I always had a problem with having metal or a way to level up my figures. So... If we take a look at that hotel, you know, the cheapest one's five energy. And you can get a, uh, you can get figures that you can fuse away for experience. But if we take a look here, again, Gollum and Weedle, that has the Cacnea. I recommend fusing those into each other for chain levels. Now, the sharpest sight. This is going to give you the greatest chance, I believe, for pulling a figure. You can get either Machop or Bidoof. Okay, so you have more than a 50% chance. And it costs six energy, so it, yeah, it's one energy more than five, but you have a higher chance of pulling a figure. Now that's worth 296 experience, I believe. So this is what I used to use, guys. Like, especially for gym, when you gotta put together a deck that you're not normally running in league, and you don't have any metal, you don't, you don't have any experience to level up those figures you need, you can come in here, grind these hotels, and then get those common figures, and then fuse them away into your EXs and rares that you're going to be using in gym, or even in league, you know, if you're just light on material. Um, or rare metal, I should say, the blue cubes. So coming into the shop, and yeah, I have T. I I know a lot of newer players have that other girl, and I forget her name right now, I'll have to look it up later and see what her name is, but if you are okay with supporting a game that you enjoy playing, for $4.99, you're able to get the enhancement boosters, okay? They're you're, they're good for 30 days from the day that you purchase them, okay? You're going to get Carmenite, you're going to get Gold, you're going to get Chain Level Cubes, uh, you know, Ingot, Carmenite, Rare Metal, uh, Chain Level Cubes, and you get 100 gems. For $4.99, that's a pretty good deal, and it's really nice to have these during the team match event, whenever all the time boosters are cut in half. Everything's cut in half, so uh, they normally take 24 hours to open. So, you know, you can op set these to unlock, and you can also unlock your normal time boosters at the same time. So you can keep both of these going at the same time. But we're trying to talk about what is free. So if you take a look at this little banner that I'm sliding in the top right, monthly rankings. So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look. This is going to show you where you're placed, and then you can scroll to the top and see who's in first place. But ranking rewards, this is kind of the big deal that everybody works hard for all month to try to rank as high as they can to get as many booster tickets and as much carmenite as possible so these you're almost guaranteed to get all the way at the bottom here even if you just play like one or two matches you're probably going to rank this high at least but everything resets on the last day at 15 utc so let's just say there's 30 days in the month you're only going to be able to play all day on the 29th because on the 30th, it's going to reset. If there's only 28 days in the month, you're going to be able to play on the 27th, and then it's going to reset on the 28th. So it's kind of like you have up until the day before the last day of the month. But I think a good place to rank, you know, if you're playing the game, you should be able to rank in the top 9, 8,000, I would say. So you're getting at least six or seven 
booster tickets, which is also going to give you 50 materials that you can spend in the shop to buy a figure. But I think a good goal to shoot for, especially when you're starting out, because it's a lot easier to climb. That's why people used to tank their ranking all the way super low, so they could climb a lot easier uh, and play against easier opponents. But don't do that. It's illegal. The devs you know, will not give you these if they know that you're losing on purpose. So don't do that. But I think a good place to shoot for is the top, you know, 3,000, top 2,000. I think you should be able to get somewhere in there. It is a pretty good goal to have. Top 1,000, you should feel really good about yourself getting in the top 1,000. Um, you know, it's it's not the hardest thing to do with a, with a good win rate and if you're playing enough games. But, you know, top 100, that's going to be pretty tough to get. If you can get in the top 100, that's kind of the best thing. But... This is all the ways to get some of the best rewards. Um, again, don't forget to write down your support ID and make a transfer ID. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Follow me on Twitter at KDub175. And until the next one, later guys.